Thank you for being on Rewind. You've done a fabulous job, and we'll do you next time. It's just that Brandon messed up his camera, and he's not doing a good job. Welcome back everyone, be sweet because I uh, didn't go eat my baby. Today we're here with Nicole, uh, we're doing another Wine and Baby with Friends interview. Um, Hi. This is post uh, West block, block party, Harley's block party over at Dark Star Cellars. And, um, Hey, Nicole, how's it going? Hi guys, how's it going? I'm super excited. Of course, this block party was like the Kitty's Titties. So it's fun. You're here. <laughs> Kitty's Titties, 46 West Block Party. Uh, tell us about how you got into the wine industry. How I got into the wine industry. Okay, so I was like, kind of had a quarter life crisis. Similar to what I heard of Brandon. This is like the first time I ever talked to Brandon. Like, for reals, for reals, right? Would you agree? Uh, uh, yeah, so if we're using the term for reals, for reals. For reals, for reals. This will be the first time. Um, Although we met at the last party. Yes, but we didn't get a chance to talk. For reals. For reals, for reals. So, for this one, um, I mean, I kind of had like a quarter of life crisis. I was going to Cal Poly for bio and pre med, and I really thought I wanted to be a doctor. And then I started shadowing, kind of experiencing like, what the medical field is going to be like. Um, what therapy was going to be like and all that other stuff and I just realized it wasn't really what I wanted to do so I was like let's take a time out right Right. and let's get some experience in a field I never have tried before got this job at Crow Vineyards in Paso Rebels and was super excited about it and his boss was making a weird face but I just looked over there. Uh, that's actually your organization very well sell it. He's gonna be out here at like eight. He's super embarrassing too, so don't worry about it. Um <laughs> So, and I applied to this job and started working in the tasting room, and that's how I ended up here. And uh, you said you recently been promoted to your uh, uh, Yes, yes. So I've been able to be promoted to like a tasting room kind of management position. I mean, the owners still run everything, so Martin and Patty are crowd are really on top of like every part of the business. They're always in the tasting room. Mark makes all the wines and he's fabulous. All of our wines are great. We won at the Central Coast Wine competition. And I've never had any other experience with any other vineyard before. So the fact that I get to do all of this hands-on stuff with everything from like wine making to marketing to like doing the event planning and finance, it's just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's really I'm so cool. grateful. That's yeah. Cool. And only in four months. Only in four months. That's only impressive. in four months. So, like anything can happen. Sorry, the camera cut out. Battery died. We're toast okay. It's totally fine. Yeah, it's a great. hurricane. We're all alive. So we're gonna move on to the next question. Alright. Um tell us uh, well, do you wanna talk about crows? Earlier you said you didn't want to talk about crows. No, I love Crowd. I mean, my only concern being on this was like, I was going to embarrass like Crowd or anything. Like, I'm completely confident in everything I've said. Like, I love Crowd. And Martin I love and the wine that we make. And awesome. Martin and Patty are super involved in their business. And I feel 100% confident that they're not going to have anyone there or have anyone make their wine that aren't going to make it well. You know? They're super, they're just, they're great people. And. Their wine is amazing, okay. and I'm happy to promote their wine in any way that I can because I love it. That's awesome. And so, what is your favorite uh, wine right now with Crow? Oh my gosh. I would say that anything in our Silver Fern series. So, I had never had any experience with wine before, and Silver Fern series just like changed my life. It changed my life. Right now, we're talking. So now, so now you can hear me, okay? It changed my life. And like, it was just, I had never had a peppery zin before. I didn't realize how different wine could be. I had never had any experience with the wine field and I just fell in love with it. Crowd made me fall in love with wine. 
And you said you've uh, you've been around California for a long time. Is this the first time you've actually like really experienced wine in a way that uh, changes how you see it? see it? Yes, definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, I have grown up in California all my life. I moved to Texas for like two years, but I was like a year old, so I don't really remember it. I've been in California all my life, um, and. Growing up, my parents always had, you know, wine around. It wasn't like a household, really. Wine with dinner that was super weird. It was like a very European kind of style, you know? Wine was okay if we had a sip with it with dinner, even before, you know, we were old enough. Um, so I've always loved wine, and I, but I never really knew, like, the different vintages. I was never able to go out and learn anything about it, and now I am, and it feels great. Because now I get to understand why I like certain wines I like and why certain drinks I like and learn more about myself. Okay. And I love this region, so it's awesome. That's awesome. Um, do you have a favorite wine or a favorite varietal? Favorite varietal? Mm. I really like Peppery Zins, but I would say my favorite that I've never tried before, before working the Crow, was 100% uh, uh, Pure Mavedra. Oh, really? Yeah, because it's traditionally, you know, the term GSM, it's like Grenache Syrah Mavedra. That's what GSM means, it's Grenache Syrah Mavedra. So Mavedra is traditionally used as a blending grape because we dry farm and everything we make is barrel aged a minimum of three years. It's just like super concentrated, super strong, <laughs> nice, warm flavors. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, so Maved. <laughs> Um, how about a wine region? Are you a like, wine region? Rhones or other than that? Um, or you... Well, I mean, Movedra is a rum varietal, but honestly, I've never gone to other regions outside of the United States and really tried their wine. I'd love to go to New Zealand and try our Sauv Blanc just because, like, She's Crow Martin. Key. Yeah, well, Martin Crowe is originally from New Zealand, and we have a solid blanc that I've never been able to try before because we always sell out, and I really want to try it. So I'm excited this year when I get to finally try it. That's, Everyone loves it. That's cool. Uh, which which one is it? It's our solid blanc. Our which solid blanc. blanc. Is it which just solid just... blanc? It's just our solid blanc. Every year it sells it sells out. But all of our reds yes, are 110 percent estate. Grown here, crushed here, barreled here, but the Sauv Blanc, the Rosé, and our Viognier, I cannot pledge for those. Probably like a nine. But people really nine. like them a lot, and they're from a vineyard in the area, so that's all that matters, and people love it. So, Crote is amazing, you're amazing, and we love you. THX, bye. And that was Nicole, uh, doing an awesome job on Rewind. Uh, thank you for joining us today and we will catch you next time if that's my sign off. Nailed it. Nailed it. Thanks Nicole. You're welcome. Do you want to come back and redo that or? No, I think that was a good sign off. Don't you? Yeah. Was... Don't you think that's a, that's a funny sign off too? That, that was pretty good. <laughs> Peace. Peace. I'm gonna go. Because uh... that's kind of how you want these things right? Like